What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're doing a special sponsored video on Floppy Nights. It's kind of a tactical deck building game, I guess, where you battle little monsters against each other. And I'm really excited to check it on out. So we're going to do our normal spiel of what we always do, but just be aware that this time around, I always show off a game for about 30 minutes, we dive on into it, we check out the mechanics or whatever. This is not meant to be used for that purpose. This video right here is a sponsored video, which means it's not a review, alright? We're just here to have some funsies, take a look at the game, and if after watching this you liked it, you can check out the link down below that I have in the description, and you can wishlist the game, which helps out developers a lot. I've been meaning to make a video about, like, why you really should wishlist stuff on Steam whenever you can, if you're excited about it, but I haven't gotten around to it yet, but, but suffice it to say, wishlisting stuff is really important to developers on Steam, like it affects their lives. Uh, let's go ahead and start the game off. We will go, yeah dude, let's go right over here, man. Sounds like a plan to me. Load them. Alright, so we're on our level select right now. We got a super cool robot arm that's got like a face in it. That's basically like the next version of a tattoo if you think about it. Like that's the future version of a bicep tattoo, a robot's bicep tattoo. Instead you just put an LCD right there with like a picture, like a face that's just Arr! Gives off that look. Alright, let's dive on in. Level start. Alright, so we're gonna go over some basics here. We've got like a simulation or something going on. You don't need to say loading training simulation for it to work, you know, but it is important to have fun while you work. Fair point. Alright, so I'm gonna have this fight against this succulent kicker for practice. Angry little leafy guy right there. We're gonna fight him with another floppy knight that I made. Her name is Captain Thistle. She's a special commander unit. We'll always start battles with our commander, but we can't be defeated or we lose. So if we lose our commander, we lose in entirety. The game is over. Don't let our commander bite it, got it? Let's get started and place Thistle on the map. We can put units anywhere in the blue deployment zone. That's cool. I'm about it. I love the animation right there. It's got a really cool, like, Kind of early 2000s Cartoon Network vibe going on that I'm feeling. Alright, so to win the battle, we gotta defeat all enemy units. We're gonna put our commander on the map. Commander. There's our commander right there. So apparently 4 health, 2 attack. It's got an attack aura, which apparently makes everybody else stronger as well. And then we've got, like, maybe a range damage right there. I'm not super sure. Uh, yeah, go right there. That sounds good. Alright, so now that we have our commander on the map, let's do something with him. During the battle, we'll draw cards every turn that we can play by spending... Energy, but we got limited energy every turn, right? Yep. Let's play our cards move close enough to attack. Got him. Let's go. I'm about it. All right, so we can move up to two tiles. We're going to have to move like three tiles. Yeah, dude, let's do that one right there. That one, oh my goodness gracious. Okay, so yes, we're going to use that on you. We're going to move over to here. Ooh, the animated walking. All right, so we're in range now. Let's smack him. Apparently, we only get one attack per round. Alright, sounds good. Uh, he's got 2 HP, so I'm pretty sure we're gonna bury this guy. Uh, yeah, smack him. Oh, cool, the, uh, the attack animation. I expected him just, like, move and, like, bump in or whatever, but it seems like they've gone to the effort to, like, fully animate everything. So we won in one turn, and our reward is that we've got ourselves a succulent kicker. Sounds good. And then we've also got ourselves a move or attack, which is kind of like a variable card, I guess, right there. So we're definitely gonna be falling back on some serious card mechanics. We did it. Phoebe, that was so cool. We are so powerful. Everything has worked perfectly, and I think we're ready to try this out on a real job. Let's grab a gig and make some cash. I like the way you think. Oh, cool. So we're actually going to like... They say that if you're good at something, you should never do it for free. So I respect that. you got to go out and make money with the skills that you've cultivated. That's just life. All right, so we're finally here. The job board said to meet at this farm. I wonder who our client is. Well, when you say it like that, it sounds kind of official. Client. Job. Look at us, Phoebe. We're going to be rich in no time. I know, this making money thing is going to be a piece of cake. Look, somebody's coming. Can I help you? Hey, are you the one that posted the job? Yeah, you got to be Phoebe, right? I thought you said there'd be two of you. Uh, there are. This is Carlton. He's my artificially intelligent arm. Hello. Yeah, that's all great and everything. Uh, right, so what seems to be the problem? It says here on the job posting that you are terrorized by vegetarian goblins. Listen, kid, I try to keep a tight farm, but those forest goblins, they snatch up all my hard work. Can't turn my back for a second without them stealing my crops. All right, so what do you want us to do? We can grow you some more carrots. That sounds like a lot of work, though. Just keep watch, keep them away from the crops. All right, I love keeping watch. All right, lady, but I'm going to need some kind of down payment up front. Here. 
Seeds? I meant cash. What am I supposed to do with these? You can make a lot of money planting those. Now go take care of my goblin problem. All right, fine, but you better leave a good tip when we're done here. Carlton, we'll post up over there by the, uh, found him. Wait, what? Goblins are right over there. God, I am good at keeping watch. Hey, check it out, fellas. I don't know what magic this lady's using to make food come out of the ground, but I'm loving it. Let's fill the bags up. Those little punks. What are you waiting for? Go, go get them. All right, let's rock. All right, so we're gonna place our commander on the map first because that is what the game desires of us. And because this game has desires, I'm going to fulfill them because I'm a giving person like that. I'm gonna start off right there, like right, ooh, we got the succulent kicker too, what's up? All right, let me put my, let me put my succulent up on the map right now, we're ready to roll. Remember this succulent kicker? He's our friend now. When you play a unit, you can generate more cards, and those cards will go into your hand right away. They'll stay in the deck for the remainder of the battle too, so we can use them whenever we draw them. Okay, so I see. The succulent kicker is going to give us a move and a kick card right away. Exactly. Now let's see what we can do with this little guy. Alright. Uh, I'm going to move to like right here. Yeah. That sounds good. And then I'm going to smack you. Because it makes me feel good about myself. I'm going to have you move two tiles over to here. I do like that they can be activated like on the turn that they're deployed. That's pretty fun. Uh, let's finish this little dude off. There we go. We've eliminated one enemy already. What was our what was our what was our mission for this one right here? I have a question. I need an adult. Uh, what was our? Oh, is it right here? There we go. Don't lose any units. Okay. I was trying to make sure that I knew what our secondary objective was, so that I don't make myself look like a giant throbbing idiot on the internet today. It's always what I endeavor to do is I wake up every single day and I say to myself, how can I not look stupid today? I don't always succeed. But it is something that I try to do as much as possible. Apparently you get defensive bonuses when you're up on top of trees. Uh, I'm gonna have... I'm gonna end the turn, actually. I'm just gonna kinda wait them out here and sort of see what these guys do. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Alright, so we're gonna fight in one direction here. I'm gonna take this guy out, and then we're gonna try and take the forest and fight from it. I get another succulent? Nice, dude! Yes, I would love another succulent. Thank you. Uh, what I would like to do now... Move unit one tile or attack. Okay, so I want you... No, actually, I take it back. I take it back. I want you to move to here. Yes. You are going to attack right there. Perfect. Uh, you are going to attack right there, which will also be another move in perfection. Uh, I'm going to restore your health because I don't like the fact that your little succulent face got hurt. And then I'm going to... No, we won't do a one move. I don't really need a four move, though, either. Yeah, you move down to here. And you move down to there. I have a plan. I'm trying to preserve the life force of my varying units. Okay. If I get enough movement, we'll be all right. I can upgrade a unit or card. Or really? Uh, I would like to upgrade a unit. That gives payback. You counterattack an enemy after taking damage. Megusta. Uh, so that adds knockback as well. I was hoping it would add damage to one of these guys. All right, well, we'll do this. Uh, I've got a feeling that they're not really going to attack my succulents, but, I mean, you know what's really satisfying about succulents? You ever have, like, a succulent plant, and you just feel it with your fingers? They feel so weird and rubbery. It's like you want to stop, like, touching the succulent, but you can't stop yourself. You see that? The grow card lets you upgrade a unit on the map. A uh, special card is unique to the plant deck. Every unit and card can be upgraded, so try it on everything. I will. I will. I promise. I guess I'll move you over to here. Minus two HP right there. I would like for you to, yeah, I'm gonna need you to, how does move or attack work? Oh, it just lets me double up. That's like the best card ever. That card is straight godly, I love it. Okay, let's just end our turn and we'll let this guy walk into our defensive line of murder. I like that retaliation too. That retaliation is really, really nice. If these other cards upgraded or got XP by getting kills, I would like worry about it more, but let's just finish the fight. 
I'm just gonna let my uh, my cactus guy with the headband just sort of like absorb all of the goodies that he possibly can. We've got a barrel cactus, an area attack, add restore, and thorns to your hand. Nice. And then we've got entangled. Okay. Ah, leave us alone, you stinky losers. What are you calling a loser? Hey, you little twerps, cut it out. Those are mine. Oh, man, the angry lady's here. Hurry up, grab as much as you can and scram. Don't just stand there, chase after them. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's out of our scope of work. Time to pay up, farmer lady. As if you didn't scare them all. They're going to be back as soon as you leave. Man, I thought that was going to be easy. I'm paying you to get to the root of the problem. Is that a vegetable joke? Nice. Go. Ay, right, jeez, okay, we're going. God, work is such a drag. I actually really, really like the animation. Like, this game is very pleasantly animated. Like, it just kind of begs you to keep playing and seeing more animations. So, whoever the artist is, you done good. Woof, man, they got the little legs, but they can run fast. Maybe, look, they're using a comms machine. Do you think there are other goblins that they're working with? Are you saying there's more of them somewhere? All right, well, let's get some answers from these guys. I just don't want to deal with this and get paid as much as possible. All right, so our deployment zone is over here. There's a couple of ways to win the battle. We can defeat all the enemies, or we can reach the target goal and hold it for two turns. Let's start by placing the commander on the map, but which does it want us to do? Win in five or less turns. Defeat all the enemies or reach the goal. Okay. Eh, that's got six HP, and I assume it's got ranged attacks, so that's going to be... I feel like our best bet is to take this right here and hold it. That's what I'm thinking. Because we can get in, if we can get that by the next turn. Yeah, if we can get that by the next turn. We should be able to get there in under, what was it? Five turns? Yeah. Two plus two is four. Interesting. It's all coming together, chat. It's all coming together. All right, so I would like for you to continue chugging along, I guess. I'll put you right there so that you got extra defense because I got a feeling we're going to get shot. Hmm. This might be a problem. It, like, sort of, it, it sort of depends what cards we pull in but she blocked the uh, target zone. That's bad. Like, I still think we have a play here. So, like, you can attack for free. Bow. Uh, we've got another attack right here. Bow. We've got this guy right here. Oh, I'm out of energy. No, that's the worst thing ever. I don't like it. No. Hmm. Okay. So we're not going to make it on the bonus objective. For some reason, I did the math very wrong in my head. And now we are forced to live with the consequences of our decisions. Her stepping down and blocking that, I was going to kick her to get two more damage off, and then I was going to use the free card to step in there. But apparently I was one energy short because I wasn't paying attention. Feels terrible. I cry myself to sleep tonight over the objective that could have been... Oh, now she moves out of the way. Of course. Of course, now she moves out of the way. I feel like I lose if this character dies. And yeah, I'm gonna need you to move to there. Uh, I'm gonna need you to get some health back for sure. I'm going to need you to use your one attack to smack that guy because that guy is a hot and a hot and spicy problem that's gotta go. Uh, and then I want you to get retaliation because it makes me happy. How did I lose an HP? Hold on, I'm scared now. What do slow attacks do? Attacked enemy movement is slow. Ah, okay, so my attacks physically slow them. I get it now. We'll wait and see what this guy does. 
Oh, they can cross water. I did not expect that at all. Okay. Sort of interesting. Uh, we can play around with the barrel cactus. Add restore and thorns to your hand. Yeah, put the barrel cactus in. Why not? Uh, so barrel cactus is here. I give you the barrel cactus. I made it to be really, really tough. When he attacks, he hits every adjacent tile at once. He also does restore and thorns cards when we play him. Nice. Okay. Well, I mean, hit him with that docka dock. You over here. We may still be able to pull this all together. Uh, yeah, go ahead and attack right there. Perfect. Enemy's now dead. Oh, uh, we don't have the energy. Okay, well, you get your health back then. Alright. Yay. Uh, we made it to five. Oh, we did it! Nice, dude! I'm the champion! I'm the champion of the world. I am officially the best. Let it be declared. Let it be declared, chat. I am the victor of all things card game. I repeat, the losers are here. We're retreating back to the river. What do you think you're doing? I'm looking at them right now. They look stinky and mean. Be advised to take caution when you see them. Goblins, fall back! We're not stinky or mean. We're nice and cute. Man, now they've made it personal. Come on, Carlton. We're going to finish this job no matter what. And thus began a campaign of endless goblin murder. Let's stop the veggie thieves and get to our money. And a sincere apology. Let's get after them. All right. That looks like their stash. It's a lot of veggies. I bet the lady's gonna pay us a little finder's fee if we bring her back a bunch of her lost crops. Now you're talking. So, like, we want to get that for sure. That's probably, like, our secondary objective, right? Defeat the enemy or reach the target goal and hold it for two turns. Oh, so they want me to... Okay. They want me to hold the seeds for two turns. If they get the seeds, do I lose? Like, I think it's a valid question just to throw out there. Like, it's something to, to just kind of consider. All right, so our Commandant is out. However, we didn't get a whole lot of backup on this go, which sort of worries me. Uh, for two energy, we can move a couple of tiles. I would say maybe to camp up in this forest over here so we get that, like, defensive bonus or whatever, but it's not really that important to me. Actually, we can take this guy out right now. Bow! Oh, no, dude! It costs two energy? Maybe that's where I messed up. Maybe I've been thinking that card's worth one energy. And then as it turns out, it's not. I'm going back to the forest. You can do whatever you want, but I'm going to hide in my forest. Because that's what a champion always does when faced with retaliation for their actions. They run away and they hide in the forest. I don't have retaliation on them yet because I haven't got my grow card. Uh, how long is this going to take, actually? Do we have, like, a... Capture the target objective instead of defeating all enemies. Yeah, they're sort of swarming, though. All right, so he's gone. Apparently, I can mulch a card if I want to. Yeah. I'm going to try and capture the objective, but like no promises. It's going to sort of depend on how this all plays out. Yeah, we kind of have like a lot of enemies on that point right there, and that worries me. A Spatunia, a ranged attack. Nice! We could definitely use a ranged attack. Get that guy right there. Hell yeah. This little cutie's name is Spatunia. They have a special ranged attack. They can't attack units right next to them, but they can hit units from a space away. Make sure to keep them safe and use them to hit enemies from afar. Alright. So, like, you can basically spit on that guy right there. Blah! Yeah, exactly. Perfect. Doesn't deal that much damage.
Oh, I got no energy left. Well, that's gonna present a problem. Hmm, I was trying to populate the battlefield a little bit. How do you get upgraded? Oh, you get two damage and you get poison coating. Nice. Okay. Not much else for us to do here. Aw, oh, you killed my you killed my guy. You murdered my dude, and I just upgraded him. Like I, I literally just upgraded him. Like I was just making him better, and you took it from me. My heart hurts, all right? And there will be reprisals for this. Be aware. Oh, so you can only move like one. Okay. Uh, this dude like, no, let's not do that, hold on. Hmm. I'm not particularly loving my options right now. Like, I'm not, I'm not super loving what's going on in that corner right now. Like, I would like to have a strategy here, and I would like to say that I've got an idea for what I'm going to do, but, like... I'm going to say, capturing that objective is going to be kind of complicated. I better get a heal card. If I don't get a heal card, we have, like, issues. All right, so I have to come to here. I don't have a choice. Uh, I need to smack this guy really, really badly. Like, I'm not... I don't, I don't care overly hard what happens to any of these dudes over here. I'm just trying to take the objective. Like, if they get smacked up and killed or whatever, like, eh, oh well. Not that much of a biggie. Oh, she ran away. Oh, that's because she can only attack. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. If this guy gets caught up in the water, we should be all right, I think. Only thing that could go wrong now is if we don't get, like, a move card. You should definitely smash that. Exactly. Give it the old smash. And then now we've got that tile right there, so it means we can wait it out with this guy and sort of see what happens. Uh, we do have Spatunia, but, like... We are taking some serious attrition back here, all right? We're, 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 we're definitely taking... This little slime dude right here is doing work because I've been using all my energy on this character so that we can get the bonus card for getting out of here. Like, I've been, I've been throwing down some serious losses. But it's not over yet. Oh, you only deal one damage? Oh, no. Okay. Uh, we can, aw, oh, dude, I could have got plus one strength right there. That probably would have been helpful if I had done that, like, later rather than right now. I uh, won the turn right there. I don't think he can get into the water on his turn, so I think we should win anyways. Oh, he could get into the water. Well, it's a good thing he only hits for one damage then, because that would have been a major malfunction. Alright, so we've got Bamboomer, which apparently is bamboo with a bazooka. I am fully in support of that right there. That is that is the stuff. That's the sort of thing that really kind of locks everything together is can I have a bazooka? Oh, I'm cornered. Spill the beans. Where's the headquarters? We'll let you go if you tell us, vermin. Our base is a little further down the path. Let me go. God. Fine. Scram. All right, Phoebe, let's finish this. We'll show them who's stinky and mean. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. The fun zone. We have to get five units up and running. I think I can do that. I think I can do that. Hey, losers, I'm impressed you made it this far, but this is our turf. What is this place? 
This here's the fun zone, and losers like you are just gonna stink it up. It's just moving along before we have to get tough with you. You're not gonna stop us from taking that magical ground food. We were sent here to stop you, but it means we have to take over your stupid fun zone. Yup, we're gonna stink it all up. Alright, well let's do this the hard way, but don't say I didn't warn you. Alright, there's a couple ways to win. You can defeat all the enemies, or we can hold the, hold the target goal. I don't really mind either way. I'm gonna try and get five units up is what I'm really gonna try to do. I wanna get the I wanna get the victory bonus here. Alright, so what do I have? I got nothing? Alright, I'll just upgrade you then. I'm gonna I'm gonna upgrade you. Because I can, and I don't really have much else going on right now, which is sort of depressing. Uh, I'm gonna take you down to here and hide in some trees. The manliest of actions. Oh, that's a big map. There's a lot of stuff going on. What does that thing do? Does that do anything special? I'm curious what that does. It's gotta be a reason it's there. It must do something. What does it do? Hmm. I'm not getting any type of, like, indicator of what it does. We might have to find out the hard way by touching it with our face. Alright, we're gonna go back over here. We'll drop that guy on in. I need you to move to here. I need you to kill this guy. This guy needs to be, like, mucho dead. Uh, I would also like to play a kick card so that I can make you even more mucho dead. Then, I need you to move down to here so that, like, he can't get adjacent with you. And I think that that's more or less okay for right now. You can move up to there, and I feel like we're playing a pretty solid strategical game at the moment. All right, we got the bamboomer. You know we gotta we gotta get the bamboomer on the field. We have to. Okay, so bamboomer attacks three out. Sounds good. Apparently, I can return a unit to my hand too. I wasn't trying to use up all my energy spawning units. But. Wait, he hit for two? Since when? How did he hit for two? Maybe he's got bad defense or something. I don't know. Apparently, he hits for two now. I wonder if that thing, like, buffs him or something. Like, is it like an area of control? Oh, maybe if I grab it, I can deploy units up there. I bet you that's what it is. I bet it's a unit deployer. So it gives us a new deployment zone. That's what I'm thinking. We are not getting a lot of movement cards right now. Vexation. Uh, I'm gonna move... Oh, I can only move one tile though. Ah, oh, dude, I think I'm gonna lose my... I think I'm gonna lose my succulent. Ah. I moved you forward too far, didn't I? No, you're good. Wow. Yeah, get nailed on. All right. Uh, he's probably gonna kill my succulent, and I'm gonna be upset about it. I like that succulent. I think that succulent was a pretty cool guy until he was vanquished, and now he's mostly just kind of like earth food. Now we control the redeployment zone. Great work, goblins. Hey, if we can put a unit on that switch, then we can take over the redeployment zone for ourselves. Let's kick them off. I don't know if they're going to keep spamming units at me or if this is the totality of the units that I'm going to need to handle. Uh, obviously, give me another succulent. Uh, I'm going to strongly suggest you move up to there. And you smack that guy. Our third kill of the day. All right, and now that we have that done, I need the Spatunia, obviously, so that we can get the bonus. Uh, I'm going to upgrade. Yeah, there we go. Upgrade him. Mm-hmm. Got rid of his slow right there, so he'll be a lot more useful to us. Is anybody taking any damage? Anybody wounded? Uh, yeah, you should have poison attacks, too. I give you permission to have all the poison attacks. 
I suppose I should take all the free moves I can get to. Like normally you have to spend energy on those, so it's like maybe I'll use the maybe I'll use the moves now. Alright. Yeah, I think we're pretty solid. Uh, I have a plan. This should be a fairly... Oh, you only took one HP worth of damage. Oh, no. Apparently, you seemingly have extra defense. That's going to be a yikes. All right. Probably was a little bit cavalier right there. Probably was a little tiny bit over aggressive. I probably should have relaxed a little bit and, like, taken my time. But I like to put the cart ahead of the horse from time to time. Just to see if what was thought to be unfeasible has become feasible by its own volition. I know that, like, the fabric of reality does not often modify itself. I don't really want to use three energy moving. But I can go for it. I just need to get these guys into position. And if I can manage that, I think we'll be all right. Uh, you move forward, I guess. Well, that was fun. Uh, this game is called Floppy Knights. It's kind of a card-based monster battling strategy. A little bit of, like, Shining Force in there. A lot of influences being processed in this game, I'll be honest with you. Uh, but it's available right now. You can check out a demo during the, the Steam Circus sale thing that they've got going on at the moment. I'll have a link for you down below so that you can wishlist this game if you wanted to. You can also play the demo for yourself and see how it feels. Uh, I'm actually really, really taken in by the by the visual presentation. I think the game looks really, really good. Like, it's a game that's fun to look at in the same way that kind of like Advance Wars was fun to look at. Or, you know, Shining Force was fun to look at. And it's got that same vibe to it. I will see you all later. Thank you for being here. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. How you doing? Take care, everybody. I'll have something for you hot and fresh off the Indie Skillet tomorrow.